Hi everybody, PJ here and we're going to start doing one or two other types of videos in this new channel and what we're going to be talking about or what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing mostly aerial shots with the drone and we're going to start off today at Carlton and Lindrick now this church here is uh, I think it was established about 1400 years ago 1400 years ago so it is extremely extremely old and uh, we're going to go and uh, have a look further up here at the church and we're going to use the drone to get hopefully some dramatic footage okay so let's crack on with it and i hope you enjoy the video this is the approach to the church and my drone is just flying uh, flying down this um, country lane that leads up to the main entrance to the church and as you can see it is absolutely beautifully stunning down here and if you want to live down here you need lots of money As the drone starts to climb into the air, we're going to get our first look at this beautifully stunning little church. Now this church is well over a thousand years old. In fact, I did say it was 1,400 years old, but I think it was founded around the year 800. That would make the church about 1,200 years old, not 1,400 years old. As you can see, the surrounding area is stunningly beautiful um, and it's very, very exclusive if you want to live around here. Very expensive. But um, just for the time being, let's just uh, let the video play and have a look at the surrounding countryside and just wallow in the beauty of the place. It's absolutely fantastic. As you can see, the church is set in a beautiful rural surrounding and um, this is one of the oldest, well it is the oldest part of Carton and Lundrick. This church was actually uh, mentioned in the Doomsday Book um, and so was the little village of Carton in Lundrick. So this has been here for a long, long time and I'm kind of hoping it's going to be here a lot longer. Now as I lift the drone up into the air, you can see um, just in the top right hand corner of the picture as it comes up, um, that house with the lake behind it, that's the old mill house and the lake behind it is the lake that used to power the water mill. And uh, we're now 100 metres up at the moment, 300 foot just over and the building in the bottom left hand corner is a, a nursery i believe uh, and the house just the other side of the church is a private house and it's absolutely <laughs> that house is absolutely fantastic you wouldn't believe it um the chap that lives there did ask me to take some photos of his house for him which i have done and i'm going to uh, sort them out for him and process them and email them out to him so uh, I do hope that he enjoys the photos. Okay, so this is a top-down view of the church. And once again, let's just sit back and enjoy the view.
current fabric of St John's is essentially from three periods of building spaced over 800 years. The first period is approximately 1070 to 1200. The next, the second quarter of the 15th century and the third, the first half of the 19th century. The oldest part of the lower walls of the tower is built of coarse rubble stone and included herringbone work, which you'll be able to see later on in the video when we get a little bit closer. As the drone comes round to the front of the church, you can clearly see where an extra story was added to the tower in the 15th century. Um, there's a, a marked difference in the brickwork, as you can see, from just above the clock to the upper part of the tower. From this position, you can just about make out um, all the stained glass in the stained glass window. Uh, we couldn't actually get inside the church to uh, have a look from the inside where it would be so much brighter, which is a bit of a shame really. From here you can see the herringbone brickwork that uh, actually dates from the year 850 and this was done between the year 850 and 900. The clock was um, a gift to the church uh, and it was installed in 1851 and it was donated by a fellow called Robert Ramsden and it cost 200 pounds. Um, and there's a clock on the north and the south facing walls of the tower. And looking at the west wall of the tower, you can easily see where the extra story was added. And you can see the massive change in brickwork from herringbone to, uh, to uh, a totally different type of brickwork. Um, so, as you can see, over the years, this, ch this church has had many, many, many changes. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail. I will leave a link below. Um, and you'll be able to uh, have a look at this link and it will give you all the details of the church and all the uh, changes it went through. Otherwise, I'm going to be here forever and ever reading through it. In this shot, we're looking in a northerly direction uh, over the fields towards the modern Carlton and Lindrick or the modern village of Carlton and Lindrick. But as you can see, the church is still set in a very rural uh, 
surroundings and rural position. Um, and like I say, to live around here, there is a private road just off to the left where the bend is. Uh, some of the houses up there are absolutely phenomenal. You do need a lot of money to live around here. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'm just going to let the, uh, the church and the surroundings play themselves out. I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon.